Hi, I'm Alex. In this Blender tutorial, I'll show you how to set up vertex groups and use them with hair particles. For this video tutorial, I have created an example particle hair system and it is attached to a separate scalp mesh. So if I go to the particle properties, I have selected the example hair. And as you can see, there are lots of settings in this menu. If you're interested to learn about all the different hair particle settings, I have another video tutorial on my channel, which goes over that topic. So if we scroll down all the way to the bottom, we'll find the vertex group parameters. Here is where you can define some of the features such as density, length, clump, kink, roughness, roughness end, and even twist. So to show you the most obvious example, I will define the length parameter with a vertex group that I have created earlier. Here you can see a list of uh, the vertex groups that I created. So I will select top and you can see that now the haircut changed simply based on the vertex group that I have created. I can try a different one. You can see how they're all different and you can simply change the look of the hairstyle based on the vertex group. Now I'll show you how to create these vertex groups. First, we need to switch to the data object, which is this green triangle here. And at the very top, you'll see the vertex group menu. So to create a new vertex group, you simply click on this plus button and let's name the newly created vertex group a tu tutorial hair vertex group. So now we have created a new vertex group, but it's completely blank. So we'll need to assign weights to the verts, to the vertices. Uh, there are a couple of ways to do this. And the first way would be to paint directly on top of the mesh. I'll select the scalp mesh and we'll switch to weight paint. And you'll need to define the weight, how much you want to paint. The blue right now, uh, the, the color blue uh, gives me feedback that this area is completely bold. If we talk about length parameter, so zero is blue. And if I paint with red, it is paint, uh, weight paint will define the red as weight of one, which is at 100%. Um, also, don't forget to turn on symmetry if you need it and overlays. If you don't have overlays on, you will not see the feedback that you're painting on top of the model. So this is how you do it. And let's say if you want to remove some of those red areas, you just turn the weight to zero. Or if you need to do an area in between, you can just put 0.5 and you can paint that with green. So this is the first. Uh, method or on how to assign weights to the vertex groups. And the second method of assigning weights to the vertex groups would be to simply grab the verts, the selected verts, and you can uh, also assign them manually. So to do that, you can go to edit mode. I'll switch to the side view and first I'll need to go to the wireframe mode so I can select through the mesh and I will select all the verts that I want to assign uh, my weights. So I'll here you can select the amount of weight that you want. I'll assign this to one and let me actually invert this and I'll remove all the previous weights that I have painted. So now, if we switch back to the weight paint, you can see what it looks like. And let me just for a moment turn off this hair example. So the top is red. That means the hair will grow there at 100%. And in blue areas, it will not grow at all. Okay, so now that we have a newly created vertex group, let's turn on our hair particle system and see how it looks now. Let's scroll all the way down to our vertex groups and we'll remove the previously shown example and we'll put our newly created tutorial hair vertex group. So as you can obviously see, 
the areas marked in red is where the hair grows at 100% and the blue areas are the areas where the hair is completely absent. So this is how you create a vertex group and use it with your hair particle system. And one last thing I want to show you is a cool trick. If you go to the weights and you go to the smooth, you can now blend this area between red and blue by smoothing the area. You can turn on this factor to one and iterations based on the look that you prefer, you can see how it changes. So you can see in real time how the hairstyle changes simply based on the vertex group itself. So instead of trying to spend hours to groom the hair again, you can simply use vertex groups and it will be a way faster solution to the desired result of the hairstyle. So if you have any questions about this tutorial, let me know in the comments. And if you have found this tutorial useful, give it a like so I can create more content like this. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.